Well, howdy, bitches. How's it going? Yes, hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, hello, welcome to another YouTube video. Hope you're all having a terrible, terrible day. Uh, it's February, and that means one thing and one thing only. I'm gonna eat three bags of Till's crisps a weekend and drink about 17 cans of Guinness watching the glorious Six Nations. <laughs> In celebration of the Six Nations, I thought we'd have a crack at making this. Uh, so, I've seen these doing the rounds at the minute on uh, sports photography pages, and uh, yeah, it's just Honey I Shrunk the, the, the Big Man. I've not actually attempted one of these yet, but uh, I am an absolute god-given king at, of Photoshop, so th this should be really easy. Let's get going. Okay, so here we've got... Yoni Wilkinson, Brian Odriscoll, and a man used to not have any hair, but he's got his hair back now, Stuart Hogg. Please don't hurt me, Stuart Hogg. You are a big, intimidating man. Right, so uh, I'm going to walk you through what's going through my head uh, as I try and decipher what is going on in these little mini people photos. Uh, I think it should be quite easy because essentially what we're going to have to do is chop the subject out of the photo. Uh, thus making a clean plate behind them because we're gonna make them smaller so we're gonna need to replace everything that's going on here um, but it should be quite easy because it's all sort of blurred there's not a whole lot of detail in the background so you'll see why that's actually quite simple in a minute uh, I'm obviously not gonna take my time on this at all um, because it's very busy because it's Six Nations Saturday and I have a lot of Guinness to start piling down my throat so we're gonna do this a very quick and easy way hit w on your keyboard come up here to select subject and hopefully look at that it's going to select it very very well indeed oh and we could almost is that gary ringrose we could almost do both of these guys i think we're going to leave we'll we'll leave gary gary we'll leave gary for the minute uh just because if we have one big person in the frame and one minute miniature person it, it's going to be much funnier uh, because you're going to get an idea of the scale aren't you kids well done uh, come over to here to our quick selection tool. We're going to hit hold down option uh, as we get rid of Gary in the selection because uh, we don't need him. This all looks pretty good. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just adding, adding by clicking using the quick select and then taking away by holding uh, option to minus out. So it hasn't quite understood where his shorts are the stupid AI okay that all kind of looks fine for a Saturday that'll do so now what we're doing what now we want to do is hit command J what that's gonna do is give us a little Stuart hog hello Stuart there's Stuart there right now come up to layer one the person we've just chopped out uh, right click on the thumbnail and go select pixels then hum up, come up here to select modify and expand uh, now this will differ for yours but let's start with 12 pixels and see what that does for us what we want is for it to just expand the outside oh, that was pretty good actually back down to layer zero uh, right click convert it to a smart object right click again and rasterize the layer this means we can now hit shift delete which is going to bring up this box make sure this is selected to content aware and hit OK. That's going to do some magic. And then if we hide our top layer, hopefully, look at that. Back of the net. Back of the net. This looks pretty good. Other than this little line here, if you want to tidy that up a bit, hit S on your keyboard, which is going to bring up your clone stamp tool. Hold down Option to, and then click to select a bit of area you want to draw in. Uh, and then just sort of have a play with how you want it to look. There. Yeah, I made it worse. Do you know what? Let's just leave it at that. That'll be fine. Again, it's a Saturday. Now we can come up to our Stuart Hogg, hit Command T, and simply make him smaller. Look at that. Look how cute he is. Oh my word. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, a little cutie. We could even bring him in front. <laughs> Look at that, very good. Under here, I'm just going to tidy this up a bit more. This is not uh, so obvious that he is. Uh... There we go. 
<laughs> There's little Stuart. How much smaller can we make him? How 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 ridiculous is this gonna get? Yeah, we want him to be sort of. <laughs> right there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, same thing to Johnny here now. Now this one could be tricky because we've got a rugby ball in the way, and we want to make the rugby ball. The, leave the rugby ball as the same size. So, we'll have to try and think how we're going to do that. I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. Uh, okay, just bear with me. I'm going to I'm gonna rattle through this and we're going to fast forward because I've, I've shown you what you actually have to do to pull this off. So, for this one, let's just fast forward and, uh, and see if I can pull it off. Okay, so actually, uh, I've been able to pull this off pretty well. This is pretty good. Uh, we, of course, have a marshal here who's just had his uh, his lower body sliced in half. Um, and we can easily just get rid of him with white. Uh, and there we go. See, now, we want the ball to remain the same size. So, on this one, we're going to chop the ball out. This will be behind the ball. And we're going to make John T nice and small. And there we go. John is about to bang one through the posts with his tiny little boot. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? Aren't we having fun? And there we go. There's Johnny. Taking a kick. Now, let's do our Lord and Saviour, Brian O'Driscoll. Bob to save our gracious team. This one looks like it might be a bit more tricky, but we'll give it a crack. And there we go, that's how you shrink big men down to little men. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, do make sure you uh, give this video a thumbs down uh, to punish me for such acts of God. Uh, and uh, please unsubscribe. Uh, it really means a lot to me. I'm going to go drink a load of cans now and watch the rugby. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.